Sis guy, he a visionary. So, uh, in the midst of this YNW Melly stuff, it got a little crazy because we seen and heard where essentially the woman who was the big bad wolf, they weren't going to convict him of murder. They were going to convict him of something else. Finally, the jury claimed that it was an 11 to 1 count to convict Melly of manslaughter following deliberations. However, the woman was able to sway two other jurors' opinions about the rapper's guilt. Then she came over and announced to the group that they had changed their minds. But when another juror asked why she was speaking for them, she exploded. The former juror said, it's something we're never going to forget. We were shaking at the end. That's ink, because we've been getting done with these boxes real quick. We got three orders getting done, three orders getting done already. One going to Memphis, one going to San Antonio, and one going to Canada. Shout out Ontario. But, uh, bro, they was going to convict that man of manslaughter. Now a juror has described deliberations to Local10.com. There was one juror who had issues with the foreperson from day one, the juror said, at one point folding her arms and saying, done. The former juror described this juror as saying, she was there to cause chaos. It's something we're never going to forget. We were all shaking at the end. Local 10 says the juror told them the woman seemed determined to acquit Melly from day one. The former juror recalled the woman said during voir dire that she could put her feelings aside about past experiences with the legal system. But the juror said that became clear that she couldn't during deliberations. The juror said another juror asked the woman to not shut down and to set her feelings aside. Then the woman exploded. She was explosive, manipulative. She was rude. She yelled insults at anyone who had a different opinion. The juror told the website on the last day of deliberations, they seemed ready to convict Melly of manslaughter by a vote of 11 to 1. Then the woman pulled two other jurors aside and brought them to her side. She came over and announced to the group that they had changed their minds, but when another juror asked why she was speaking for them, she exploded. That explosion included insults and gay slurs directed at the juror who questioned her. The former juror decided to speak up after learning that Melly's mom, Jamie King, posted on social media that the vote was 9-3 to three for a not guilty verdict. That's just not true, the juror is quoted as saying. I don't want someone out there changing my vote. You tell a lie enough and it becomes the truth. The former juror said it was 9-3 to three to convict Melly. Melly will be back in court this Friday as his lawyers asked the court to allow them to depose once again Detective Mark Moretti, the lead detective on the case. The defense has made Moretti one of their main targets, claiming he botched the investigation. Jury selection in Melly's retrial is scheduled to begin October 2nd. Which, depending on which law you want to see and stuff, a mandatory 11 years. Well, he already been in there for about four, almost five. Now could have been 22 or something like that whatever depending on how they, how they wanted to enforce it but either way it goes they weren't going to convict him of murder they didn't feel he murdered them cats but got manslaughter on their mind so now begs the point begs the question of can they convict him of murder and beyond reasonable doubt no on that but beyond reasonable doubt yes on the manslaughter part I don't know, bro. It's, it's all a little odd, but it is what it is at this point. I just want y'all to understand something. Reading is fundamental. We kind of messed up a little bit, but if I go back and I read it again and again and again, I didn't see anything where they said they basically had him convicted of murder. They only had him convicted of manslaughter, which essentially means that they might convict the man Borland with murder. I don't know. Let me let me know y'all thoughts on this one. I'll be curious to see what it is that y'all think is about to happen. Because in one instance, I'm like, damn, bro, how did we all miss that? Second instance, I'm like, well, it makes sense. But I don't know, man. Subscribe, turn on that bell to stay notified, share to keep your people aware. Let me know y'all thoughts on this. Do y'all think that it's possible to convict murder and not convict manslaughter or convict manslaughter and not convict murder? Like, basically, he might have... I don't know, bro. This is a little odd because it, the gang stuff obviously ain't going to fly. The prosecution just probably should drop the gang stuff, but I think the gang stuff is 
part of the reason why you get the death penalty, but it's also a double murder. And the people who have all been convicted and put on death row all have multiple murders up under their belt. There was no underlying thing for gangs. So I didn't see that in the last people who basically went to death row. But I I don't know, man. Y'all y'all, let me know your thoughts on this. So I'd be curious to read, but who knows, man. They used to say, words couldn't hurt me. Videos, just my name, they getting thirsty. Go ahead and put them in a hearse. It's getting murky, this time I deserve this.